I hope this fixes it. I hope this fixes it, boys. I'm at SMO 13, where you can call into vehicles. Yeah. SMO 13? Alright. Yep. Alright. I'm here. I'm going to uh, trust that I just set up another stream. Hopefully it stays live. Dude, I, I don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, what if that charity event comes up and for some reason I can't stream it? Imagine that. I don't have any med pens. Do you have extras or should I buy some? Um, I have two extras. <laughs> But I, I do need. I'll stop yeah. Right yeah, I do need to go to uh, Tressler real quick. If you want, I'll just meet you at Tressler and drop this uh, this uh, FS9 off to you. Okay. I've got three tanks on my uh, C2. Well, hopefully the nine people that were just watching come back. And I hope this encoder works. Can you check my new stream, see how the quality is? Because I lowered yeah. the bit rate oh, and shit. <coughs> changed the encoder. So. Yeah, one, one second. Uh, come on, get off of that. It looks good. Yeah. Good, good. What's up, Zaku? Yeah, it's my wee little ship. That's the ship that's in our logo, man. Don't make fun of that ship. That ship is the shit. Spicy is still the all-time best ship ever made. Nothing will ever top it. Rambler. Spicy's wins. I like Spicy. <laughs> if they said you had to get rid of one from the game, I'd take the Rambler. Imagine a Pisces with a turret. How fucking dope. Uh, Hangar 13, I gotta get some med pens. Hold on, I gotta share the link for this. I guess now. Fuck. Alright, so this. 
Alright, I'm just grabbing some med pens and then I'll be there. You just go meet him on uh, wherever he's at. Yeah. I can meet him. Oh, I can get him at the hospital. Doey. I'm not going to trust her today. I, I've been here twice today and the elevators have been broken both times. They just go off into the space. So, I'll just give this down to you wherever that is at. Okay. Shmo 13, you said? Yeah. All right. How's the stream look, Daco? Is it okay? Look and sound all right? Yeah, I thought I was going to get to start streaming at 1440 with that new encoder, but maybe it's like stable or something. Right. Can't wait to melt the A2, and I also can't wait to melt the fucking carrot. Well, yeah, the uh, stream has a bit of a delay anyway. No worries. Yeah, well, I just had a stream going with like nine people watching, and then the my stream froze, so I had to restart the stream, and then here we are. It's just me and you, buddy, hanging out playing Star Citizen. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Fields? Buddy, it, it, it's not out there. But I don't know what you want me to do about it right now. Crusader Industries, a journey where it takes systems on. Uh, when I say melt, I just mean exchange. You know, you just uh, exchange it for store credit, basically. Uh, yeah, you can join the party. You also gotta, uh, grab the, uh, event. It's your priority mission. So go to your missions. Go to the one that says... Priority. This one. Comiskate Contraband. Yeah. Accept that mission. Welcome back, James. Welcome back. I had to change the encoder. I hope that, um, fixes it. <laughs> I was trying a new encoder, uh, for the last few streams, which it worked for a while. It worked for, like, a week, and then... Last three nights that been giving me issues. I, I don't know. That goddamn eclipse. <laughs> all right, I got all me bombs. Got all me fuels. Uh, where are you at, Cudley? About thirteen. Yeah. Oh, microtech. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's kind of the way it works, Zaku. If it if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't buy so many. Sh have so much money in the game, you know. Like if you put in money and you, the ship you bought was it, like I wouldn't pull the trigger on a Carrick. There's no way I would do that. I don't know why oh, anybody hell, would do man. that, you know. They say eventually they're going to get rid of the whole melting ships down to exchange them later, but I don't, they're going to be shooting themselves in the foot with that. That won't be till 1.0 earliest anyway. They can't afford to do it right now. Not with the player base. 
Oh, I forgot to get a shot of this planet. Remind me. Oh, I didn't set my fucking spawn either. I don't see Cuddly's name. Are you in the party, Cuddly? Yeah. Yeah, it's on Microtech. You'll see you'll see two markers when you accept that mission, Abe. One is the facility and one's a drop off location. The production facility is where it goes down. That's where we're going to fight. Zaku, no worries, man. Come and go as you please or as the tornadoes allow. Also saw they dropped engineering in Evo. Looks pretty sweet. Gonna make soloing a ship difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it will. It's gonna make some people angry that they can't just jump in their fucking hammerheads themselves and go take off, you know? We're gonna need help. Good. That's good. Uh, Defender it's... Blade or Hawk? Blade is the best one for dogfighting. Some people like the Hawk, but it's kind of it's too slow for how low HP is. I like the Blade the best out of those three. Which, I own those ships, if you ever want to try them, let me know. Cuddly, I'm gonna kick you in your green fight, alright? Yep. Abe, hey, I sent you a party invite. I'll send you another one. Yeah, small ships are the best. Oh, which one you should bring? You should bring your blade if you're, if you're gonna fight in the sky. Typically, what we do is we try to get on the ground as quick as possible and jump out of our ships and fight with rail guns. But if you want to stay in the sky, you could also run a tank for us if you want. We're gonna have tanks. That, we're picking up tanks right now. If you want to come here, come here as quick as possible. We're at, uh, fucking SMO, uh, fucking 13. Yeah, Zach, that's the way it always should have been. Like, people always complain that you can kill a hammerhead with a light fighter, but a hammerhead should have, like, other ships with it. Just think of, like, the Navy. They don't send out a, a fucking Corvette ship on its own, or, like, you know what I mean? Like, they. Like carrier, it's no, it's got a whole armada. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's <laughs> the way it should be. Fleet, yeah. Think yeah, of a carrier, a carrier, it's got fleet. a carrier has a whole fucking deck full of fighters on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so like, that's yeah. the way it should be in space too. People are right. like, oh, it's I had a fully crewed hammerhead and a guy in a gladius killed me. Yeah, exactly, you don't have your fighter screen, man. All right, cool, James. I'm about to lose my last rail gun right now. So yeah, if you have an extra one later. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I melted my paint job on this. I wanted to get the all black one. The silver camo one is cool looking, but I think just the all black would look better. Get the piece color. The piss color? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The dehydrated piss color. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Definitely need support ships. Abe doesn't know what happened. You gotta relog. I gotta let my dog out real quick. He's like bugging out all of a sudden. Be back in one second, guys. One second, chat. I'll be right back. Give me a moment.
We're rocking the light arms tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if it ever says uh, server full, just keep clicking it. It'll might take you 10 tries, 20 tries, but you'll get in. Uh, Mr. Fields, it's been a while since we've actually done a real organized jump down. Uh, lately, since there's money isn't... If there's a wipe, we'll do a legit jump down. Um, what we used to do, our system uh, before when they first introduced jump down, what we used to do is if jump down ran for a week, all week we would do it in goofy ways, go in on foot, shit like that. Um, but then there'd be one night where we would organize an actual jump down event with the org. And uh, from the sky, we would drop a ring of ballistas around jump down as, and we'd have a fighter screen come in drop ballistas from the sky and time it at the same time so that when the ballistas hit the ground the fighters come in and mix everything up in the sky that's usually when jump down was typically locked down by org when you would get there um and then once we finally got it locked down uh we would just use pisces to run boxes so you have two pisces one's getting loaded as the other one's dropping off and then when that one gets back the first that pisces is done and they switch places and you just do that over and over um yeah we've made six seven million before in a night doing that but when you do a big org event like that, you end up having so many people to pay out at the end that, you know, you do okay, but you do better by yourself on a night like this when there's nobody around, nothing's really happening. I guess right, the tank and some right, Yeah, this red box right here has a... Uh, oh, uh, okay. Cool, man. Your... Uh, yeah, you can, anybody can join whenever they want, man. We, uh, we're not doing it organized tonight because that's like when there's a wipe and, um, we are actually trying to earn money. Hey, is there two in here? You left two? You want me to leave one? Or I am did. I... No, they're both yours, man. Put one uh, in local. That's fine. <laughs> that way you know you got one. Woohoo. Yeah, we're not doing like an organized one tonight. We're just trying to go in, get on foot, and then try to shoot ships out of the sky. That's typically what we do it's just for fun you know if you see any of our edited videos where we're railgunning ships left and right this is one of our ways of making that happen this is the behind the scenes <laughs> yeah I've got three tanks on my uh, C2. Okay. Uh, I, I think I've said that twice now. I'm going to bring okay. a tank and a centurion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've said it. I said it before. I'll say it again. Best ship in the game is a railgun. Rail, give me a railgun with a saddle. You keep everything else. I want an X1 that's actually just a railgun. And it flies around. I wish I knew how to do CGI. That'd be so funny to make of that video. I don't know how to do CGI, but I did make a stupid sticker for our Discord that is just a leather horse saddle <laughs> on a railgun. You're going to be freezing like that. Going to be fine. You're going to be a tit nippy. See, I'm a 40 year old man and I still love pop. Who doesn't love pops? What? I don't, I don't know. What do, what do you love? Pop tarts. Oh, fair enough. I noticed I eat like a nine year old because my wife buys stuff for my son and I just grab it as I walk through the kitchen, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we're bringing extras, James. We're going to have a total of four tanks and one centurion on site. Just like my plan was to kind of just scatter them around. So as we get bombed, which is inevitable or as ships, as stuff blows up, at least we'll have like another tank around the corner. We could run to for cover, you know, see how it goes. You want someone to take that to the ship for you while you call this other one in? Yeah, if you don't mind, you that'd be great. got time on it. Yeah, yeah. That, my tank should be ready right now. If you don't there mind, that would be excellent. Oh, don't mind at all. I forgot to get a <coughs> out of uh, micro attack. I was Yeah, yeah, her L4, yeah. I think you can refill clone there. There's a station at her L4, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's the, it's a light fighter, so you can't really like be jumping all over the place with it. Just so everybody knows, if the stream freezes again, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be pulling up another stream. I gotta figure out what the if it if it starts freezing again. If changing the encoder back doesn't um, fix it, then I don't know what to do. Yeah, Trestler. Yeah, the station is Trestler. It's right above uh, New Babbitt. Launch you all the way in? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I've got my tires against the thing. Yeah, uh -huh. against the crib. Yeah, really? Yeah. Um, back in. Got? Oh, I, I got some room. I got room. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on up. Come on. Yeah. Way up. Move my camera. I don't want to accidentally turn like... the turret into the wall. Right. I'm good here. There you go. Right there. Like a glove. Beautiful. Riding with one of us, Cuddly, or uh, you gonna yeah. go over there as air support? Can I ride with you? Alright, alright. Hey, he's got turrets, I don't. <laughs> you hop with me if you wanna use the turrets. Yeah. What I was gonna say I is mean, maybe you should go in and try and land. And if there's people there, let me know and I'll, I'll set up a bombing run on. Either way, two ballistic freaking uh, Hercules, Hercules. Hercules. Yeah. Should be able to fuck him up. I was yeah. fucking up that guy in the Constellation the other day. It was pretty fun. This versus uh -huh. Connie was awesome. It was pretty fun.
Whoa, that was close, huh? Yeah, it was. Yeah. That was all right. Yeah, for what these ships are, they shouldn't be as fast as they are, man. They're way too fast for their size. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like, remember how I squashed that lightning the one night? You know, like yeah, oh, I, that I was jumped hilarious. on him, dude. Yeah. Like, there's there's yeah. no way I should be able to jump on a lightning that fast in a ship right. this fucking big. Right. They're like big cats, man. They're just more nimble yeah. than they look like. Yeah, I didn't post that short yet. I still have it though. I called it "Don't poke the bear." <laughs> yeah. I should post. People get mad. You rammed him. You rammed him. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Like the guys yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that was so freaking funny, man. <laughs> Three guys in fucking F8 Lightning Arrow, Mark II Hornet. They are harassing a player in a fucking armistice zone, waiting for him to leave. And I. Call They're harassing me. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> throwing a fucking nomad at the first. Try to kill me when I'm going in. But then I fucking. Ram two of them, and they, they start or one, and they start complaining. Yeah. And one of them tries to ram me, fails, and I ram him back, so he dies. <laughs> they complain even harder. <laughs> and then I went back with the Halsey, and <laughs> one of them just did a fucking full speed ram. The side of my Halsey. My Halsey just tipped over and he fucking exploded. <laughs> I love that because they don't expect it. The fun the funny thing about me squashing that lightning was though he was trying to come into repair after attacking us. And I went to do it at once and he noticed and he like took off real quick and like scurried away. And then I waited for him to like get a little more comfortable. And then I fucking pounced on him, and he just was not quick enough. It was awesome. Okay. Abe, see, look, this is what I'm going to do. See, the production facility is 1,600 away, but there's no jump point. So there's a jump point 2,000, so I know that I have to go about three quarters of the way to that OM and shut my ship off, and I'll be I won't, I'll be still far away, but I'll be closer. Like, you could also jump to one of these. Uh, find the closest one, like this one here is 1600. Okay, this one might be the closest. Necropolis? Yeah, Necropolis is the closest. Thing. Okay, that's, yeah, it's even closer than doing it that way, I guess. Ship. Look at that thing. Hmm. Uh, you can just jump to me. I got within 150. I still have the paint job. Oh, kiggity. I already jumped the necropolis. Fair enough. Sorry, this is the chance for some cinematic shots. Bombay doors open.
A week and a half, Casper. Uh, it depends if they press charges on us or not, man. First, you have to get a kill. Then they would have to press charges on you. So there's a good chance you won't even get a crime with that. I'm 85 out. I think we're going to do a couple of those tomorrow, Casper, because I have a couple I need to finish. Just out of sheer boredom with the goddamn missions I have a tunnel. I don't like gameplay on rails. I need gameplay that's just freeform, you know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't play any game anymore that's like around or like any, anything like that. It has to just be open and free and you make the, you do the gameplay, like whatever you want to do. I can only that play those kind of games. Place, but it's also quite free. Yeah, I know, but it still is like a round. You leave the place after you do your thing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. which I don't, I wish you lived there. I want to live in the place, you know? Like. The, like that's their plan for the full release is that it's gonna be like one big open map and you just transit like travel between the maps with, like, yeah I've read that that sounds dope yeah. that will be cool yeah just just open sandbox game you know that's the difference between four science and what the way a lot of other people play the game is we play it more of like it's a sandbox. Like we'll do missions here and there and stuff like that. And during the day, a lot of guys will jump on and grind out different things. But you know, when we have a wipe, I will be grinding too, like everybody else for a while. But um, but uh, we mostly play the game like a sandbox. We just try to find things that are fun, and that's where our events come from. If you haven't been to any of our events or you haven't watched any of our, we have a playlist on the channel called Open Events. <laughs> Go check some of those out. Some of those are really good. But uh, you know. You can make whatever game you want in here. I have no idea when the next wipe will be. I hope they do a full wipe with this uh, patch, whenever this yeah. patch is ready. I'd say we gotta do minimum for like cross life. Probably, yeah, at least I'd say. What's up, YOLO? <laughs> That'd be cool. Alright. I'm 30 out. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just still 230. I, I know. Killing me smalls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're fine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm pretty too. Uh, if they do a full wipe, you don't get to keep your ships. It depends. Sometimes they do inventory wipe, a wallet wipe, or a hangar wipe. When I say full wipe, I want them to wipe all three of those things. You know? Right. If I keep all of my ships, I have no reason to play. There's no reason to earn any money. There's no easy reason to do anything, you know what I mean? Most people that play Star Citizen right now have all the ships they could possibly want, have all the money they would ever need. That you know, like There's no reason to do any missions. The game is an economy. That's what the game is, you know? So, uh... Yeah, the economy was really fucking busted <laughs> with the salary and the drug selling. Yeah. Well, there was, there was just glitches to just earn money, too. Remember the one with the, uh, well, I don't even talk about them on, on chat, but there was a bunch of glitches where you could just make money up here, <laughs> you know, basically. Um, we didn't even have to do anything, so. Yeah, and every time they fix one, they come out with a new one. They are planning to rebalance the economy, so they will probably do a full wipe with the fixed patch. I hope so, man. Yeah. It makes it more exciting. And then we're going to get another full wipe with uh, 4.0. With the, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, with pyro. I hope pyro, a, yeah. I hope we get a wipe, another wipe before then. I, I got a feeling pyro still a ways off. Yeah. Uh, there was uh, evocative predictions that it's gonna be like end of year. Yeah. They, CIG said they've never, this they've summer, never been wrong summer. before. CIG said that it's gonna be this summer, but. They were gonna be said that uh, it's probably gonna be more yeah. like end of year. I, 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 they always say things are gonna be at a certain time, and they never are. They never are. Yeah. Uh, you gotta add me from menu. Add me in menu. Uh, it'd be easier for you to add Cudley. His in-game name is Q D D L Y.
Q, all one, all one word. Q D D L Y. Q diddly. Oh yeah, Q diddly. <laughs> he he hates that one. <laughs> He's the one who spelled cuddly with a Q, not me. This would be a good POV when we drop the bomb. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. I was saying I was in blast range, but I'm so high right now, there's no way I was in any blast range. Did you get a friend request from Mr. Fields? Really? Nope. Yeah, you gotta add him from the menu anyway. You gotta have to jump out the menu just to add one of us. Yeah. You dodged when you should have weaved. One thing I hope they work on with their graphics is the gradient. Like when there's a gradient sky or when there's clouds, you can see the lines of the gradient, you know? It doesn't like blend. That's one thing I hope they try to work on. It even plays with clouds on. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, uh, clouds. Yeah. My, my machine can do it, but I can't do it. <clears throat> Well, because for the longest time we didn't have these clouds, you know, so when they right. added them, it was like made it look so much prettier. At first, we got um, Microtech. Microtech was the first planet that they added with that actually had these clouds, but then they added Orison, which was a, a planet made of volumetric clouds, and then they gave them to Mike, then they gave them to uh, Hurston, then they gave it to Area 18. So, like, it's one of those features that just looks so cool compared to what it used to look like, you know. It used to just be yeah, a line. I, there was like a line, there was clouds, and you would go below it or above it, and that was it. Yeah. I feel like I got spoiled joining when I did, man. Yeah. Because I didn't have to go through any of the tribulations that y'all went through. The oh, OG. you have plenty ahead, man. Trust me, it doesn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ongoing... Oh, no, I. but from what I hear about the older versions of this game, but shit, I'm... Yeah, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it used to be a lot more fun. It used to be a lot more arcadey, right? Because you didn't have to like worry about where your ship was, where you stored things. Like you know, you would, you would, like say I had nothing. Uh, I needed a drink. I could just relog and it would fill my drink. You know, yeah. or like uh, you would die and spawn with all your gear. If you died, you spawned with everything. So oh hell. So it was like arcadey. Nah, so if you, if you had a railgun, you could just run around railgun stuff. Oh, I died. All right, I'm going back, and then you go back. You know, that's the way it was. Nah, that's cheaty as shit. That's, that's not <laughs> difficult. F's in, F's in chat for 318. Yeah, yeah 318 nah, was a rough a, one. There was one before that, too. I, I forget which one it was. It was a, there was a yeah, I'm a 322, one. baby. Yeah. Three eighteen. I had to play on my alt account. My main account didn't even work at all. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, uh -uh. <laughs> Get a cuddly. Can you what? Get an uh, He's in a remote yeah. yard, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you party lead, too, so you can get him in the party. Hot potato, you're it. <laughs> How high are we? 3,000, that's plenty good for a bomb drop.
guess there's nobody here, huh? I, I don't know. I'm <laughs> You're either going to catch up or I'm going to time out. One or the other. <laughs> well, I'm not anyway. You can go move out. I, I know. I'm just going to fly in and drop uh, a bomb. Uh, I'm going in after y'all. I'm not a bomb ship. I'm, I'm just... Uh... I'm here to look pretty. Yeah, the only thing that sucks is when you set up your exterior camera, you have to have the sun behind you to get the best shot of your ship. But I really want to see the sun in the shot, too. It kind of sucks, you know. You have to pick which shot you want for each clip, you know. There's a ship down there. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a Hercules. I'm just pinging, I'm not, I'm not uh, targeting. Stay away from the facility. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bomb it before we land. Ah, it's a redeemer. <clears throat> but it's just camped up on the side of a hill. Oh, it's on the side of a hill? It's yeah. not on the facility? No, it's not. Alright, we'll have to drop the bomb on that instead. Yeah. I'll drop one on that one on the facility, maybe. Uh, if you get the facility, I'll smoke that redeemer as soon as you drop that bomb. Okay. You can come down by uh, dub, man. You don't have to hover all the way up there. There's another ship back there as well. But it's not on the facility either. Uh, 
Uh, there is a ship on the facility. Ship off to my left. Yeah, I just got locked as well. Coming at it right over the mound. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, hang on. It's the goddamn uh, space cop. I'm going to be committing crimes here in just a minute, Space Cop, so you might want I, to leave uh, me alone. I'm going to hit that mountain with it, dude, because it, uh, the mountain was in yeah. the way. Yeah, no, you're fine. We'll turn around and drop another. Take so long. All right, any minute now. Um. Okay. The cutter at the facility. Fixed to smoke this uh, redeemer. About to drop one right on the facility. You almost flew right into my bomb, dude. Holy shit. You were like two meters away from flying right into my bomb. <laughs> yeah, the dot. I'm like even lining up the dots perfectly and they're not landing right on. Where was that other parked ship? Wasn't there one on the wall over here? Oh, there's one parked over here. I'm gonna just drop this one real quick, just cause. Oh, ship coming in? M2. M2, guys in it. Lunacy over here on me. Come to me. Straight ahead, Dudley. Yeah. Out. They're taking off now. Oh, they were.
What the fuck? How are none of those hitting him? I don't even get to, like, targeting people at all. I'll just put circle. you on him. I've got 126 bullets left. Gonna try and get out. Off that. All right, my weapons are empty. Um, Our death. He's dead. Nice. I'm heading over and going to drop ships off. Yep. Go park. I'm gonna blow up that ship that's parked on the uh, mm -hmm. side of the hill there. All right. He yeah. was having a bad day, and it just got worse. That's the way light fighters work, Abe. You have to learn how to balance your power. You want to put your power to your weapons, back to your shields when you're taking hits, you know? Dip in the air. It's an Avenger Titan. There's a Titan in the air. Yeah, oh, he pressed charges. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of ships here. What is this? This is the Deemer. Yeah, this is a lightning. Right, I'm gonna pop this lightning. Alright. Oh, uh, that Titan is just hovering in the air. Blip. Bye bye. All right, it's been fun. Is that a guy in that Titan? Yeah. The Titan's just white. There's a space cop around here somewhere. Is there? That There's might probably. be the space cop, yeah. Probably. Hold on, I'm gonna move forward a bit. Work me.
bust out the tank and I'll get this bad boy out. Holy shit. You gonna move the tank, Hudley? Yep. Is our ship bouncing all over? A little bit. Alright. Well, we know we have at least 12 minutes before that guy can get back here. And he was in a bomber? He was in an M2. Yeah, okay. There's someone on the ground here. Is there? Oh, it's, it's just able. Abel, if you want to use, you can stay in the sky if you want, Abel, but if any ships come, you just got to lower them to the ground. Or you can use the Centurion if you want. Basically, we're going to hang out here and we're going to wait for ships to show up. Which they pretty much always do. I got a red pip in the sky. Abel, can you go investigate that red pip? Oh, it's Cuddly, never mind. Oh, I have two red pips <laughs> now. Criminal? Yeah, I got a crime stat three. I'm just going to move this like up here and leave it up here for now. I think right behind this tree is a good hiding spot for this for now. I'm going to leave the engines on and everything. So if anybody hops in, you don't got to worry about anything. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I shut the engines off on mine, but it's not yeah. a deal. It's a tank. Alright, where's the park? Yeah, Abel, so all we basically do is we hang out around here and eventually people will be on foot attacking us. There'll be people in the sky. If you end up getting into a fight in the sky, just try to get down low and we can help you. Let us know if you see anything on your, uh, yeah, you can destroy the Titan. Yeah, sniper, sometimes we'll put a sniper up there. Last time we were here, the desync was so bad that guys were just disappearing and reappearing in front of me. So a sniper, I don't know how much that would have helped with that. Alright, I'm gonna move my uh, C2 right next to the uh, facility. That way, any tanks I have out aren't in the blast area of the C2 when it gets inevitably bombed.
Oh, there you are, Mr. Field. You can just jump to us. You got to be on the right side of the planet, though. As long as you're on the right side of the planet, uh, you should be able to jump right to us. Is that a ship right there? It happened. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Just... Man. Yeah, it happens. You can come back though if you want to. We're here. That's the thing when you're when you're uh, uh, baiting bounty hunters and doing this kind of stuff. Like so you got to hang out a little bit, you know. So you got to be patient. Um, but when it goes off, it goes off. Yeah, it's not as bad as today. I mean, it was bad, but some people wouldn't, weren't even able to log into the game. Um, a lot of people. A lot of people also downloaded the PTU and not the EPTU. So that's why. Really? <laughs> yeah. How were they even able to download the PTU? Because this has been there for ages. They, oh. they just left all. They tested the, like the replication layer briefly with it. But it's just been standing there ever since. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Thirty k. Yep. Of course. God uh, damn it. Fuck you. Chris Roberts. They always happen more when a new patch is coming. Yep. Ah, yeah, it happens a lot. Cast. It's normal. It's standard uh, Star Citizen ah. shit. And happen way more when a big event is going on. Something like IAE or... I think uh, the only server I see right now with the people and it has 59. Rolling Rise in a server with 17. Um, let's try uh, best. Uh, do one of you guys want to try your friends list? Um, I gave it to you, Cuddly. Check your friends list. One with 69. Haha, <laughs> baby. That's the, per that's the perfect server. You don't want to touch that. We're about to get all of up in there. <laughs> you don't want to touch that server. You got to leave it that number. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. We went exactly. to 69. <laughs> like in Warframe, if you go into the social hubs, there's like different channels. 
usually popular by someone, but someone is always sitting in the channel 69, even if there's like no players to populate on the channels. <laughs> <laughs> There's always someone at the 69. Uh, dude, I'm stuck in the fucking. I know I'm at Tresla right now, which is perfect, but I'm stuck in Horizon. the. Fucking... Gotta reload. They're probably gonna send me to Grim now. It says 78 in your server now. A lot of those 30k people just joined. I'm not going to go through the hassle of doing all the goddamn tanks again. <laughs> that was nonsense. I'm at Orson. Oof. Are you at Orson as well? Yep. You need me to fly you out, buddy? Sure. All right. We just slept for 11 hours. I feel high. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. I don't sleep for more than five hours at the most. Oh wait, no, I'm not at or I'm at Microtech. Yeah, I'm at. And usually, usually, um, exactly eight hours. Anything above that, I sleep like shit. Anything below that, I sleep like shit. But hello there, Mr. Fields. Let's go get on an A2 and bomb some shit. Makes me feel numb. So there you go. Yeah. Man, I'm good if I get six. <clears throat> yeah, six is not bad. It's just. I like to sleep the whole eight hours. Woohoo, stored my ship. The only problem is it's going to shoot at me when I go to leave now. Yeah, but you're in a monster, so you should be all right. Yeah. I might be able to quantum jump right from. Uh, yeah, right right the from hangar. the hangar. Yeah. That'd be nice. Hangar, are we in? 13. Lucky number. I need to sleep. Yeah, here's our elevator. Long hours. I yeah, I literally can't myself. sleep over five. If yeah. I sleep over five hours, I'm fucked up. I literally five hours. My, my body is in like constant. Uh, like the. Like. In constant stress reaction. Yeah. So I need to fucking sleep to get oh, yeah. uh, Mr. Get, Fields, I'm going to invite you to first. our in-game uh, chat. Oh, yeah, it definitely also depends, like, if I'm... I don't know what you mean by stress reaction, but if I'm generally... Like, going... my, the blood levels that you, you rise when your body is oh, under, like, extreme okay. physical stress. Shit. Okay, I see what you mean. That's I why I have know. sleeping pills. Yeah, I see what you mean. I don't know if it's comparable at all, but when I'm having like a very stressful week, the constant I'm constantly stressed throughout throughout that week. I don't that sucks, think man. it's physical; it's more a mental thing. So I end up having to sleep longer hours. But that's what happens when I have a stressful yeah. time. Um, well, then the sleep is good for you, man. Oh yeah. Uh, especially if it could be not me, I can live with the eight. I do not trust that this door is open. Right, go put your nose on it. I know, I'm gonna. <laughs> I've, I've made that mistake a couple damn times, too, thinking it's good to go, and I smashed right into that thing doing mock Jesus. Like, come on, man. You're going to SMO 13 to get tanks, right? Man. I'm just gonna grab one tank. It's on. Yeah, oh shit, I forgot I'm, about yeah, the station. Like... I totally forgot about the station. Go, buddy, go. Oh, my God. 
I totally forgot I had a crime stat. I was just flying out all casual. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me when my friend started playing Star Citizen, we had like about 10 million worth of trucks inside my caterpillar to be loaded. We stopped to refuel at the station, but when we left, I was looking at the star map and going forward, and we fucking rammed one of those like station of turrets. <laughs> oh, no. And the station started shooting us and spamming missiles, and we blew up. Yeah, welcome oh, to the verse. Uh, I remember being an idiot and trying to uh, access my storage while I was well aware that the station was, station was shooting at me. Like I was trying to access the storage of the station. Yeah, never doing that again. I underestimated the station. The best part is when you cannot see the bullets that are hitting you from the station. That's just beautiful. Like, you would be staring at where the bullets are coming out of, and you don't see the bullets coming out. Abe, like, uh... hey, I just jumped down to the surface. I'm grabbing a tank real quick, and then I'm going back to jump down. Gotta get at least one kill. The man, this all the problems that I had in the BTU when I tested it briefly. Was, yeah. The performance was quite shit. Okay, yeah, like I've heard FPS, that. The FPS was low, and uh, the reason for that is, like, it did not utilize my GPU pretty much at all. Like, on live, I can get 100% utilization on my GPU, but in, in the EPDU, it was hovering at 50%. Mm -hmm. And the other issue was that my fucking mouse cursor was not showing up in any of the menus. Uh, or yeah, in yeah. the ESC menu, sir, but in Mobi and Inventory, it was not showing up. Or mm -hmm. in the Star Map. I don't know. I see. For some people, the inventory wasn't even showing up, I know that also. And when I, I went. The test, I put the water physics on high and went to test those water physics and they did not affect the FPS at all. Isn't that a good thing? Yep. Yeah. And they also had FSR and CIG's own some upscaling feature in the options as well. Okay. That's and probably cool. PLSS if you have an NVIDIA card. Oh, I forgot to get bombs. Yeah, I'll use the LFS, I think. Yeah. For me, that's not gonna bring any benefit, because... <laughs> NVIDIA card? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, no. Ah, uh, I mean, uh, AMD. Shit. Sure. Yeah. Either of them. Or any of the upscaling are not gonna bring any benefit to me. Because right. I, I have... Like the utilization is so balanced. Oh. Oh, or if, if they can get the GPU utilization to where it's on live, like it, it's right now I'm sitting at 99%. If they can get my GPU utilization at 99% in the 323, then the FSR will help me and add FTS. Yeah. And if not. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. There we go. It should though. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Well, yeah, when it, it comes it, it, out, I'm assuming they're gonna use the same, you know. Yeah, there's just some optimization issues. Yeah. Alright, I'm reloading bombs at the uh, uh, SMO 13, and then I'm going down to grab a tank, and then I'm on my way. Alright. All right. It was really fucking quick, like they posted to, like, evocative patch notes saying, like, everything is in 3.23 is up for testing right now and like a few minutes later yeah it, it's looking good we're gonna publish it to live or not live but web one btu yeah. yeah hey babe looks like they're gonna publish it soon and the master modes 
was fun, but I the like switching between the SCM mode and the travels uh, the travel mode felt a bit clunky. Uh huh. Like there's like nine seconds full time. Oh. But I I think that uh, they said that it, it's gonna be a different time depending on your ship. I I flew the uh, hoplite. That was around nine seconds. Oh yeah, yeah. with the modes. That's gonna be a bit interesting. Yeah. Um. I wish they and the, like the quantum travel mode, like when you have quantum drive pulled up, that was like fully linked to the travel sort mode. So I hope that they make it not linked, so you can be in travel sort mode mode without having the quantum drive. So you don't get the fucking markers everywhere. Casper wants to know if you have to switch to nav mode to get anywhere, or can you stay in the normal mode? Uh, well, you can still fly anywhere you want in the. SCM I think he mode. means like I think he means jump around and go places. Yeah, if you want to jump around, you you need to be in the nav mode. Like the nav, oh. that was what I was saying. Like the nav mode is linked to the quantum jumping. Yeah. Like when you swap the nav mode is or nav mode on is basically like you're pressing B right now, for turning the quantum drive on. I I feel like you should be able to turn on the calibration. Um, I think think they need to make it like you the independently like you don't have to calibrate while you are in the nav mode. Yeah, like that that way would be like way better. Yeah. So you wouldn't like have to have those markers on your screen when you're on, on nav mode. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Should the quantum the quantum should be independent. Yeah. Independent. It should be an option within the nav mode. The new maps, fucking amazing. Really. Yeah. No lag. No, you cannot jump. No, nothing like that. No. Nope. Only problem I had was I didn't see my cursor, so it was really fucking hard to navigate. I'm telling you, when it comes to PU, it's gonna be broken. I guarantee there's gonna be Hopefully. So, there's gonna be so many situations where like I can't, why can't I click on this? Why won't it calibrate? Why the fuck? You know, it's always yeah. gonna be something like that. You know, the the news of the map is bringing. It's an armistice you can't, Abe. Oh yeah, and there was one with the but that can happen with the current system as well but i had like i was set to jump to microtech but i jumped past it to michael too oh oh yeah but that's because you unintentionally went to another location right yeah yeah uh, that, that can happen like w with the current system as well yeah that's fine uh like as long as you choose the right location on the map and the map isn't giving you shit for it and every time yeah. you jump it doesn't cancel the jump for you that news brings joy tears to my face it's fucked me the amount of time i was trying to jump in a very stressful situation and i couldn't do it fuck. i'm gonna do uh, more testing tomorrow hopefully it was just a shader issue with the Low GPU utilization. Yeah. Hopefully. It's gonna be real fun finding out in the master modes what weapons work best for what. Oh yeah. Since like some weapons are better for like highly armored that or like bigger targets and some are smaller targets etc etc yeah and they all have the overheating stats and everything like that completely like redesigned uh, like that uh yeah it's, it's gonna be really cool trying to figure yeah. out everything all over again um but yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes i mean i And I think they're gonna do with uh, what they did with uh, like all systems, like with the ballistics, like uh, smaller 
size ballistic weapons get way more ammo than the like bigger size ones. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um... Who who is that I... just here? They just the weapons that I or yeah. the ammo guns that I saw Does where I the hope lights mm -hmm. stock loadout which had a ballistic cannon on the nose and it's the ballistic repeaters on the integrated weapons. Oh. The repeaters had like 500 ammo per piece, and the cannon has had like 367 bullets. But okay. then I went with uh, flew a Hornet Mark II, and they changed the AD4 piece from it to the Revenant Gatling guns, and the Revenant Gatling guns had was it 870 bullet, oh. which is. Not huge amount, but it's not bad. Yeah, of course. Plus, I think the Revenants have slower fire fire rate than the AD4Bs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I got absolutely destroyed by fucking Iris or something. Yes. I went to do a bounty and there was a fucking Idris there and there was also a fucking, what was it, Reclaimer. I started shooting at the Reclaimer and the Reclaimer tanked way more ballistics than it currently can tank. Yeah, you can't hurt yeah. it when it's an armistice, Abe. No matter what you do, you won't be able to hurt it. And then I got destroyed by I Idris Railgun. Oh, pain. Go ahead, keep coming. Keep coming, Mr. Fields, I'll tell you when. Got to test the bounties, get to the higher level bounties, because the a AI is supposed to be, like, really fucking good now. Like, they are mimicking, more, more, like, more. player ahead, push movements it. and tactics. Yeah, you know, the, uh, here's the thing. Uh -huh. They already kind of had that, but they just right, never more, had little the, more, uh, little more. space right there. to do it, Hold let's on. say. Hold on a second. Like, for example, have you ever seen a... Uh, AI with like an extremely good server. I've seen. Yeah, we're gonna blow up if you do that. Yeah. No, the ship AI. The ship AI is supposed Hold to on. like like hover around you, do like use the like rotations, spins, everything like that. Player tactics against you. Yeah. Like, ever got the players have like complained that it's too hard? Yeah. Well. Like, okay. like the easy bounties are. They said they are yeah, gonna still be like quite easy but the harder levels like the AI will, will be ridiculous like, yeah yeah I've had the situation before with the current AI and it was hard so I don't know what's gonna happen with the next one I mean I remember having to uh, I remember the AI in front of me taking military formation and that was fucking stupid like they hid behind the wall <laughs> and then the other one peaked and then the other one hid behind the wall and shot the Are uh, you ready to go, Dub? Are you waiting for something? Dub? Engines on. But yes, and CIG said that, or, or answered when someone made a Reddit post about the flight, right, flight AI. Okay. Are you waiting on a vehicle or are you ready to go? Yeah, uh, uh, just about. I'll jump to y'all. I'll just jump okay. straight to y'all. I said that it's by design because nothing in the virus is supposed to be a, like a walking park. And it is really fucking good that they still have the lower level bounties as well. Mr. Like, Fields, get on like a turret because we might get a bounty hunter well, coming have after. have the me. higher levels with, with like way higher skill and AI yeah, difficult. Should I jump to you guys, or should I fly independently? Uh, you can jump right. to me. I'm about to jump to uh, Necropolis right now. Yeah. 
You want to meet I me there? I just took my spawn at the Tristler, just in case. Okay. If you want to meet me in Necropolis, you'd hop in. Yep. Oh yeah, the one big thing that I loved about the new map system, they have the fucking search bar <laughs> for the locations. Yeah. And the local maps, like when you open your star map, if you are on a ship that has an interior, you are first zoomed in like the interior of the ship. And the interior map, and when you zoom out, it zooms out from the interior, to the, like the whole. I'm just gonna touch down right where I am, God lady, you just come to me. Yeah. And then I'm flying. <laughs> Mr. Fields, we just gotta wait for uh Cudley to get here. So we're gonna land for a second. Mm. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, they have... During the evocative phases, they did, like, a bunch of fixes for it. But it, it's better, but still not perfect. Yeah, you just jump in the channel with us. Oh, what's up, man? Hey, there we go. Yeah. What's good, what's good. Yeah, we're just what? waiting for Cuddly. We're going to land right here for a second, wait for Cuddly to get here. What really got me excited was the progress report they did today. Man, if that gets you excited, you should try drugs. <laughs> I have tried drugs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, they had uh, the Zeus was done with the uh, gray box face and it's entering its beauty and polish face. So people are thinking that it might come out already, like with the Invictus launch week. We got full power to shields. I would just stay on a turret, keep an eye on the radar. And And the other one was the uh, Anvil Legionnaire exit at the uh, white box, box face and is getting ready for the gray box. The only top turret's in the cockpit, right? Yeah, there's a whole turret room. Did you try the turret room? Yeah, I think they're all on the bottom. Okay, well, the one, <clears throat> the one there's, there's a big one that the seat's right behind me. I believe that's the bottom gun, but then there should be an access to a gun on, my, on the pa the co-pilot seat too. The ship has a lot of fucking guns, a lot of turrets on it. It's a shame that the Hoplite does not have a toilet w w where you could fucking just <laughs> exit like Fall the other. Out. yeah. Yeah. Honestly, if Hoplite would have a, even a bed that would make it like much more desirable Yeah. variant of the Vanguards. But a $300 ship for a $100 ship yeah. Yeah, it's a good deal. Yeah. Should you buy a Vanguard? I don't know, man. You keep asking if you should buy ships. I, I would just put uh, time in playing. I don't I don't think the if, game is about buying ships, you know? If you want the Vanguard, wait the till the Invictus launch week and get the... What was it? The Legionnaire. No, no. The Anvil Legionnaire. It gives you a Vanguard Hoplite as a loaner, and the Anvil Legionnaire costs 120, while the Hoplite is 300. That's a huge deal. It's gonna come out by the end of the year, so until then you have a Hoplite. Like the, the ripple. Oh, you bought, that it just you bought money on eBay, space. huh? So, so I have a, I have a, a 
I fucking hate people buying money on eBay, dude. That's the fucking dumbest thing to do. Like, why do why, I don't know why people do that. You're basically ruining the game for yourself when you do that, man. I don't know why you would do that. Yeah. You didn't? Well, whoever you got it from, they bought it off of eBay. <laughs> yeah. Somebody, somebody just gave you 70 million in game. So 70 million in game cost at least like a hundred bucks on eBay. So I don't know why somebody would just give you that, but probably seven, it might cost, but it might be a dollar a million right now or something like that. So it probably cost them at least $70, but yeah, what I would do is I would take all that money and just give it away as quick as possible. That totally ruins the game. What you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to do what most people do when they get excited about this game. They're going to buy all the ships. You're going to get bored of it. Two months, you won't be playing at all. You'll be done with the game. Your random person gave me a while back when my friend was has just started. My someone gave me like ten million, no, no, yeah. fifteen million. Yeah. And all I did was, was I bought one ship. I don't remember. Oh, it was uh, uh, the Sentinel. Yeah. I bought the Sentinel and gave rest to my friend to use yeah. the ships. So well, you know what it is? We haven't had a out. wipe. We haven't had a wipe since they had all those money exploits. You know. So, yeah. so people just like, and it's like, people do that as like a hot shot thing. Like, well, I'll just give you a hundred million dollars, you know, but like, you just go on eBay with a few bucks that you can just buy it, you know? But in my opinion, it ruins the game because when you earn money in this game, you get good at playing, you know what I mean? So when you either go to eBay and just buy it or somebody else earning just goes to eBay and buys it. Yeah. Earning money is what is how you learn how to play. So by the time you get to a point where you're earning 20, 30, 40 million dollars, you know all the all the ways to all the workarounds for all the bugs. You know how to handle all the weapons and what they all do, and you know all the ships inside and out. Um, you shouldn't just have that much money because it really ruins your gameplay. It 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 really sours the game for you. Like I'm telling you, within a couple months, you're just going to be bored of the game and be over it. You know, the most exciting thing in this game is just legit grinding, like box missions and bounties, and then buying a two million dollar ship. But uh, that's why we need a wipe so bad. They need to take all this shit and trash it. <laughs> All the ships and everything. Start over. It really ruins the game for new players, I think. Because the game is an economy, you know what I mean? And you 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 take away so much from new players by, like, it working like this, you know? Because we we really I frown mean, upon that that large th lump sum of money given out by... Why I melted my reclaimer was because it was way too easy to make money with it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It ruins the game. Yeah, I liked it when bounties, you could make like, this is a while ago, but you could make a million an hour doing bounties, <clears throat> but you had to really grind and really try. And that, that was yeah. fun though. You know what I mean? You grind for a week and you could buy a sweet ship. You know, that's kind of the way it should be. It should be tough like that. I hate it when I talk to like, people too. And we talk about wipe and people are like, oh, if they wipe, I'm never playing again. Well then like, I this isn't the kind of game for you. It's a time when one of the most profitable ways to earn money was to just kill the fucking Idris. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, that was what two twenty-five or two fifty or something for the <laughs> Eckert one. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I used to, dude. I've soloed that in the six hundred. I've soloed it in the Vanguard. Um, yeah. Duo, duoed it like a bunch of times in the Hurricane and stuff. When um, the F8 Lightning came out, I used that to solo it. Lots yeah. Of times. Yeah, I soloed it with a fucking six hundred, dude. It was awesome. A six hundred yeah. with a, a laser cannon. Yeah. I used the stock loadout on the FPC. Honestly, for that reason, it was a fun ship. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't destroy it, like, in fucking seconds. It took, like, took a good while, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember with the 600i, it took a while, too. Um, but I had to really, like, keep my distance, you know? Yeah. Because the 600i is so slow to corkscrew. But you can get that corkscrew going. If it's you there by yourself, and nobody else is there, like, changing the direction of the address or anything, you can get that yeah. corkscrew going, where you're sl slowly backing up, slowly corkscrewing, and just nailing every shot, and you, you can totally kill it, you know? Yeah. Um, it's pretty sweet like that. Yeah, that, yeah, just the the whole thing with just earning tons of money and having tons of chips, like, it's, it's I don't know. It's It sours the game for me. I, I don't like it. Really, new players shouldn't have 890s. Even experienced players shouldn't have them. 
Oh, 890 should be like an org vehicle that like, you know, everybody shares. You know what I mean? That's the way I feel. I feel like the verse should be that way. Part of the re uh, e e economy rebalance is they are making the 890 way more expensive. Yeah, it's going to be way more expensive and it should be, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> they are making the Hercules series ships also more expensive and Andromeda. And so like the, the one of the original selling points for this game was like, and it's totally gone now, picking a job path, right? So like if I wanted to be a cargo hauler, I might have a uh, I might have a caterpillar, I might have like one little fighter, a couple little ships, but whatever I could afford would be geared towards my job. But nowadays it's like everybody has an 890, everybody has a Carrick, everybody has a Hammerhead, everybody has this, everybody has that. What's the fucking I, point of having these I different don't... jobs and different roles then if everybody just has everything? It makes no sense. I don't you know, know if they still have those, but they used to have like the job starter packs. Yeah, like exactly. Like, it yeah. would include the game and then, like, uh, like a medical starter pack. It would, well, I was it saying, would, too, uh, no, nobody game. likes this because everybody wants to have the best of everything. But I was saying, yeah. like, you, when you make a character, you should have to lock into, like, a job. And then you could wipe yeah. and pick a different job later or something, but, like, it should lock you into a job. And now that you're in this job, you have these ships available to, to purchase. I you think know what they I mean? should do that more like contracts that, that you sign a contract with someone and then you, you can back out of the contract and resign. Yeah. yeah, and then that way, it's not like every single person has a hammerhead and every single person yeah. has an 890. An 890, a 600, a 400, it's like, it's really silly. The thing is, like, this game was always supposed to be like some people are wealthy and some people are new and poor and just starting to grind and some people are like businessmen and they're like in the middle somewhere, yeah. but like, the economy is so fucked in the game and like people always argue but that's where it comes back to what i was talking about before the stream crashed before it comes back to the hardcore players and then the the games that are mass appeal it's the same thing the people that like mass appeal games don't want wipes they just want to collect things and collect everything you know and like that's not the kind of it's a simulator game simulator games aren't like that you know oh yeah this yeah, isn't yeah. pokemon you know what i'm saying where you just collect as many pokemon as you can for whatever fucking reason to like Collecting JPEGs, man. Yeah, collecting JPEGs, exactly, yeah. Some people like, like to just collect line. things. Holy shit. Is it dope? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, there we go. There's your screenshot. <laughs> we used to have screenshot contests in our Discord, but we stopped doing it because so few people participate. Yeah, the medical career. Oh, I have. I think my screenshot folder has 10,000 pictures in it. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I, got, I have a whole drive full of them. But we used to give away armors and guns and stuff for, for best screenshot. And uh, so many people, like, we would get, like, four submissions. I'm like, I'm not spending t giving away 20 bucks for four submissions. Like, you guys got to participate <laughs> to do this shit, you know? The, the medical career kit included the game package. Uh, I got the expiration pack when I first started. Yeah. The expiration, yeah. Then, like, medical. But I, I had a run. pretty good mentor that the guy I worked with has been doing it forever. And he... It was 317. It was the day before 318. And uh, he, everybody was like giving me money because they thought there was going to be a big wipe and stuff. So I yeah. bought like every, I bought like every ship. Yeah. <laughs> to me, that kind of, I so. hate that. It ruins yeah. the game, dude. It totally ruins well, it. Well, I bought, I bought another account. I bought another account that I used to play on whenever I just yeah. want to play the game. But if the, I want to fuck around with stuff like this. And I of course, in a, perf in a perfect world, what I think is perfect for this game isn't what everybody thinks it is. And of course, everybody has yeah. bought in, so everybody can yeah. do whatever they want. I think the best best way to enjoy this game is it's like when you were like a kid, a teenager, right? And you had a job, like whatever yeah. bullshit job. And you, you're like, dude, I want to get a Mustang. And you had it pinned up in your garage and you would look at it every day when you're going to work. Like, I'm going to buy one one day. That's the way this game should fucking be. You should have that one yeah, magical yeah. ship that's so expensive yeah. and you're working towards it. And then like maybe after a month of grinding, you walk into the shop and you buy it. And you hear the dude behind the desk say, what a purchase or whatever, you know? And... When I first started playing in like 310, it was exciting. Like you would go by, you're like, dude, I'm going to get a new ship. And every, like your buddies would come with you, you know? And then you would all get in it together. You would all get in it together and be like, fuck yeah, we got a new ship. You know what I mean? So like that, that experience is gone from the game because we haven't had a wipe in so long. And you know, Abe's been playing for like a couple uh, of weeks down. or whatever. What's down? You're, you're above the, you're about to fly over it actually. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I went. To, I, got, I, got, I got a lot of. I got a lot of height. <laughs> but yeah, I feel I mean, it. Like, yeah, I, I bought well, a completely separate it. account just so I can experience that again. Yeah. Yeah, that's why those videos on YouTube always uh, do so well. Zero to hero, those videos do really well yeah. because 
that yeah. is like the dream of what the game is supposed to be like. Yeah. You start from the bottom and you grind to get up there, you know? Like but, um, Null from the uh, Star Citizen Discord, one of the mods, like the way he's planning, he's pl been planning it for like ages now, when they finally wipe. Yeah. He's gonna take a fucking cutter and take like most of the components off of it and live off the ground. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. Everybody wants everything right away, right now, instant gratification. I just want to, they see videos of people flying crazy ships and they, they just want to have it all right away. And I feel like it, it really ruins the experience. What happens with new players is they ruin the experience for themselves. I've seen it because I've been running for science for o over three years now, right? So I've seen so many people join for science as new players. They're so excited about the game. Next thing you know, you log in and they go, hey, I bought every single ship in the game. And then two weeks later, they're gone and they yeah. never play again. It's like there's nothing to look forward to. It's over. Yeah. Once you've bought every ship so and you've, <laughs> yeah, once you've bought every ship and you've experienced everything, there is nothing to look forward to. The game is over. Like with the pledging ships. Yeah. Well, I guess I can just sit right here That's and drop me. it. Okay. Don't go under me. I'm sorry, chat. I'm like constant. I'm like getting in the zone over here, not paying attention. I apologize. Like, the my goal of buying the like our pledging ships is that i have access to like some of the game loops like instantly if they wipe yeah yeah well, you want a couple money makers or whatever but yeah one, one of the main things behind four science when we started was it was me and one other guy which he he doesn't really <coughs> play anymore um <coughs> but the main thing behind it was like i had a, i had three ships and he had three ships i'm like well together yeah. we have six ships you know what i mean and um yeah. The whole idea was to get together and kind of like you would team up like I wouldn't have to buy every ship because I could we could experience it together. We'd all you know, it, it was kind of fun like yeah, that. Okay. It made it way more enjoyable, I think. But when that's <laughs> Like the more high-end ship I'm planning of getting, or I have already in my buybacks, is the Arrastra. Yeah. I don't even but have to tell you the, one, I, the one I'm buying. I really like mining. I can't see a goddamn thing. Yeah, I don't even have to mention the ship I'm, I, I'm waiting for. I've said it a million times. Yeah. The Arrastra is gonna be like the, the, the like it's not gonna be the highest end mining ship, but it's it's gonna be not not like low tier mining ship like the Prospector or Star Trek. Yeah, I don't, even, I don't even know where to land. I, I can't, can't see, see shit. I, know, I can't <laughs> see a fucking thing. I might land up on the mountain and we'll drive a tank down. Yeah. And the Arrastra is like, uh, like, well, sold me on that ship is that it's a mining ship that can refine, and it also has like cargo area to haul vehicles, and it also has like big turrets for people to sit in. Yeah, I, I know that stuff. I, I only care about combat, really. You know, it's the yeah, only thing I really care like about. It's made for like hostile area mining, deep space, hostile yeah. territories. Well, that's the thing. If somebody else is flying one of those, I'll I'll be part of the fighter screen to like protect. You know, yeah. that'd be cool. I'm down with that. But like like some people said, you know, get the fucking Orion. It's a, like planet mining. Said, no, no, fuck that. I'm gonna get Orion with in-game money. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I wish that I know. Like everybody says, it's an alpha, but like. I, I don't think CIG realizes how many things they do that turn players off and make people go away. Um, being somebody that has played every night for years now and, and watch and is working on growing a community, I see people come and go. Yeah. 
and why they come and go and just the lack of wipes is, is a huge thing they, they should wipe servers every three months no matter what you should wipe everything every three months just wipe everything um it would encourage people to buy more ships for cash for one and it would just keep the economy buzzing along and humming along and you know it's just like a, a rust server right you know in three months that uh are you gonna take this here get back it out um, you know, you know, in three months, everything you paid for is going to be gone. So that's what you work for is, you know. Yeah. You'd... Yeah. So anyone drive this, I'm, a, I'm probably way too high to try and drive this. <laughs> okay. I'm a little bit. Oh, Cuddly's on there with you. You say you're too high. I'm on fucking morphine. <laughs> Cuddly's on morphine. So you guys are going for a ride. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I have a hernia, so I'm on liquid oxy, so. Oh yeah, you guys are partying. You just gotta be in a lot of pain to party. Yeah. Okay. Can't see shit. Yeah, dude, it's real dark. Are you guys clear of the ramp? Yeah, we're clear. Yeah, okay. I just don't want to drive in the as I'm backing up. All right, James, thanks for hanging, man. I'll talk to you later. Oh, ship fell over. And the wrong thing also that sold me on the Arrastra is that it's a uh, kind of big ship. It's like 120 meters. Yeah. And it's not too big though. Yeah, and the like the crew size is like labeled as, as like two to four people. Yeah. Well, that's so what I like about the Perseus is it's yeah. not too big. It's big, but it's not huge. It's like yeah. Uh, that that's the size that's what i want to fly that's what i want to play with and like some some like those bigger ships they have like the crew requ requirements of like four people and up yeah but like arrastra is on the level that you you could be able to even solo it even with the engineering gameplay Is this a cliff? Yes, it is. Let's drive off it. Eee I'm gonna get stuck, aren't I? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking slalom. Someone said they are patrolling ch jump down. Someone said that? Yeah, I asked if jump down is safe. They said, no, I'm patrolling. How are you? How did we just land then, you Momo? <laughs> All right, not one Hercules, but two. Watch this. This is my prediction. He's going to come I here. See a red he's ping. Gonna I see a red ping. Okay. It's going to oh, be an it's eclipse. It's my ship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to come here, and he's going to be an eclipse. He's going to torp the park ship and leave. Yeah. Or he's going to torp the park ship, and we're going to blow him up. Yeah. It's one of the two. That's what happens every time. You shooting somebody? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> you want us to open that back door for you? No. no, no, no. <laughs> it's bait. I think I'm going to leave my tank up here and just run around on foot for a little while. Oh, 
I'm patrolling. Come patrol them, bitch. I'm waiting for somebody to walk up and snipe me in the back of the head because he was on foot the whole time. <laughs> Alright, because he's patrolling on foot. I'm gonna hop out of the turret and let Centurion. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just leaving mine up on the side of the hill there. Side door open? Mm -hmm. I'm running away from uh, Jump Town because we know how this uh, usually plays out. Somebody in an <laughs> A2 will swing by and. Well, there's Alons also now, so. They're easier to escape. Yeah, the A2 yeah. is the one that's like almost impossible to escape. Uh, Except for that one clip I got. Work. Dude, that one clip I got was awesome, though. When it blew up in the background, I was so sick. <laughs> um, see how many people we got? Uh, there's only 65 on the server. It was up to 80 for me. You still got a crime stat, yeah? Yep. Uh, Alright, sweet. Me. Yeah. And What's the minimum safe distance on an A1 bomb? Uh, about 150 meters. Give or take 150 meters. More than okay. that. Did the tree stop any of the blast or anything like that? Nope. nope. Alright, cool. You can survive inside the building. Yeah, inside the building, you're good. Basically, if you see a bomber coming and you're not close enough to get inside, just start running towards the hills as fast as you can. Yeah. Just get away yeah, from sure. any vehicles because they, you know, you don't, they could be targeting Jump Town itself, the building, or they could be targeting a vehicle. You just want to get away from anything. It's your best bet. So, any of you other guys get a weird little, like, crosshair that pops up when you're here? It happens to me all the time. I have a little blue dot right now. It's like a crosshair. Only when I point at Jumptown. When I point away, it goes away. And then when I point back at Jumptown, it appears. It's like a little crosshair dot. Yeah, I get that sometimes. It's only when I'm I here. got it. I get it on Walla. I don't, I don't know if I've ever gotten it here, but I've noticed it on Walla more often than not. What the fuck is that? I mean, I know it's a crosshair, but like... Right. I, I mean, that probably helps line up ships, like right before I go to shoot, then aim, <laughs> then charge. Because mm -hmm. it's like a really fine dot you could put right on the ship. <laughs> this guy said, now I'm going to ruin this guy's session. <laughs> I mean, ruin what guy's head? Cuddlies. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rundle cheeks. I planted those Legos you stepped on. So what does that mean? He's coming here? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Suckers. Oh shit, I sound like a torpedo for a second. Pew pew, pew pew. Yeah, he's gonna be surprised when five guys start railgunning him, yeah.
It's funny too, Casper. There's something about rail guns, especially a squad of guys with rail guns. That what we've learned is that I got a vehicle or a ship over here in the wood line. Uh, that's a a tank. If you would be so kind, uh, hit go inside and hit you on it. Okay. Cause it's lit up like a Christmas candle right now. Okay. I didn't know if it was an artifact or not. No, I see yeah. It's, yeah. It's just turn time. turn the power off. <laughs> well, what we've learned, uh, Casper, is that <clears throat> when people come to attack you, and you counter them with a whole squad of people with rail guns, they get flustered and they don't know what the fuck to do. They don't know how to handle it. They don't know what to do. So I, we've gotten more kills doing this than like you could possibly imagine. Even in like a single night, we've done like so many you can't even count in a single night before. Um, just a few guys with rail guns running around on foot. <laughs> We're talking Mark II's, Lightnings. We've taken out Corsairs. We've taken out Redeemers. We've taken out everything. All the combat ships, you know what I mean? Um, um, all the Chad boy ships. Yeah, this just running around on foot like, like this. Like being there's where it jumped off. <laughs> They were, like, having entire fucking squads trying to find me. Yeah. That's yeah. not let me get in that driver's seat. Alright, don't worry about it. No biggie. You gotta be, so what you gotta do is you gotta be quick, and you, ha you have to kill the person with the railgun fast, and you have to move in and strafe quickly, and, like, come in and just... The thing is, like, people people have a hard time shooting you for some reason when you're on foot. Like, clearly, the crosshairs on your ship don't work when you're shooting a guy on foot. Like, everybody knows how to line it up, but I feel like, from what from what we've noticed, most people have the hardest time with that, which is really weird. Yeah, lots of times we should have been dead. Lots of times. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> the first video I posted of doing bounty hunter, uh, bounty hunter baiting, uh, the guy it was in a Scorpius, and I was just running back and forth like this and he's right in front of me <laughs> i'm shooting with the rail gun and our buddy's shooting with the tank from the other side and he's just right there and he's going nuts you know it's funny yeah exactly all you gotta do is see the the, the bullet path and move over you know uh, sheep. where direction shooting at it. oh yeah that's it oh prowler hit it Hit it, dead. Boom. Good night, Felicia. Later. You see that, guys? <laughs> There's your beloved Prowler. It got beat by a fucking railgun. That was soft death, wasn't it? No, that was a hard death. Was it? Should have been a hard death. Yeah. Oh, it was in pieces. You're right. Yeah, because he did boom booms. All right, let me go get his body and bring it over to jump town. So you see what I mean? That's a big ship with huge guns, the alien technology. Everybody goes on and on about that ship. But just a couple guys. Oh, hey, there's one. Click. It's gone. <laughs> That's what I mean. This is the fucking meta. Just moving in to retrieve the body? Uh, WS. <laughs> yeah. I'll cover. All right, sweet. I really, they've really got to fix the audio in this game, though. Like, you should hear yeah. a goddamn prowler coming in on you like that. It's you just should hear silent. any ship flying in. Yeah, it's just like even silent. a stealth ship would make noise. Well, like, you know, you it's should cool. hear engine noise on the ground. What's cool about ground vehicles, Eric, is they have such a small signature. That guy probably didn't even know where any of our ground vehicles were. He didn't get close enough, right? So he comes in. Maybe he might have seen it at the last moment or something, but. All of a sudden, he's, there's just something shooting him, and then when the rail guns hit him, he has no idea where that's that what's happening at that point. It's just he just blows up. He's not sh right now. He's waking up in a hospital, going, "What happened?" You know. What happened? What happened? Yeah, that's that's how I learned about the real gun. I was in a carrick and I came into Ghost Hollow like the first day playing by myself, just messing around. Yeah. And it just and it yeah yeah I got taken out <laughs> by real guns. <laughs> yeah, it takes uh, fourteen respect. shots without shields. Uh, Carrick. We we have a video, if you haven't seen it, check it out, where we just line up a bunch of ships and we railgun all of them to see how many shots each one takes. We also did it with um the rocket Probably launcher, launcher, too. Yeah. We lined them all up and just shot at a ton of ships. What is he? I don't see this dude's ship. It's not in the air. No. I'm moving huh. to find it. I don't see it either. 
Yeah. I don't see your name, Dub. I'm gonna kick and invite you, okay? Okay. Oh, I just fell through a rock. I'm inside the mountain. Okay. Uh, relog real quick. Yeah, relog. I'm back out. Okay, good. Oh, I'm not party lead. Uh, Kylie, can you kick and invite Dub or give me lead? Uh, I thought I gave you lead. No, I got the little star on your name. I have left the party for me. Invite. I love it when it says you've created party. <laughs> this right, music reckon. when that happens. Yeah, I don't see the ship. I'm at the wreckage. Oh, are you? Oh, shit. He... All right. I was about. Yeah, the ship audio sword. sucks, right? Because I can't tell you how many nights, Casper, I've been standing like this, looking, and all of a sudden, I hear something shooting, and I turn around, and there's a lightning 10 feet behind me. It flies right up to you, and you don't even hear it, you know? So, that's one thing they need to work on. Is there a good place to find the railgun? Bunkers? Shit like that, yeah. you know? Bunkers. Utopia. Get the Utopia mission. Sometimes you'll get lucky and find a bunch. Other times you won't find any. It's just really hit or miss. As time goes on, they become more and more rare, it feels like. I don't know if it's like... <clears throat> the way it works, the way it used to work in DayZ was, like, say you want an M4, but Light if off. everybody yeah. keeps hoarding M4s in their bases, there'll be less and less on the map to find, so I don't know if it works. Maybe it's like that, like people keep finding rail guns and hoarding them. I usually hover around four. I have one on my back and one in Grim Hex. Yeah, I, I just have got this one. three Grim Hex and one on my back. I'm a loot goblin. I'm not going to tell you how many I have. <laughs> yeah. I'm the opposite uh, of a loot goblin. I literally I, don't I give, anything. I, I give most of mine away, I'm being honest. Yeah. You know, I, I, give I don't, people I don't die very much. So I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I die plenty. <laughs> I die every night, yeah, a couple times. Yeah, yeah, I die plenty. And I also don't loot anything, literally nothing. I might try to get my body back if it has a railgun on it, but other than that, I'll just... All right, Mantis, man. Have a good one. Later, Mantis. I forgot he was here. I turned him down because he was talking so much and I was trying to listen. I, didn't really, I forgot he was still here. Yeah, I didn't see the dude's body, did you? Uh, negative. I've gone around right. all yeah, the bits of debris. Have, I haven't seen it. He might have fallen to the planet. That's what he gets. Yeah, right. Straight to micro tech hell. <laughs> yeah we fell through the planet uh we did like a, a a gravity drop from 30k up in an ursa and like all four of us in the ursa just zipped right through the planet like oh hell <laughs> shit was hilarious though i was trying to use a medical bed to hop on somebody's ship one time and it flipped over and shot me straight through the pad and i got launched through the moon <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, as a matter of fact, we fell through the earth right here on, in that Ursa. Yeah, yeah, that right was almost a perfect tech, landing, yeah. too. We landed, like, right on it from 30 yep. kilometers up. One of us got ejected. I don't know which one, but somebody did. <laughs> I don't know. That show was hilarious. <laughs> it was, it was, I, I watched that video again the other day, and I fucking probably laughed yeah. for three minutes straight, yeah, man. That's fun. Just watching... Dude, get yeeted out of the fucking vehicle. <laughs> I'm so mad that I get it, get the video when we were doing the uh, Seeds of Horizon with Ian and Chaos and bunch of others. <laughs> and Chaos was flying the A2 to the last platform and we were getting shot. And we were trying to scramble out of the fucking A2 before we blow up. If uh -huh. it got softed, softed in the air, Ian drew, drew out or with, with the fucking car and 
I was trying to jump to the platform, but something like a weapon from someone's hand or something hit me in the back of the head and knocked my character out of the fucking ship. <laughs> and I started free, free falling in the uh, oh horizon. Oh my goodness. Horizon atmosphere. That's freaking hilarious. This is a quiet server. You should uh, answer Cudley, say, JT on lockdown. No one comes here without my permission. Yeah, the box he spawned on you? Yeah, that can be a bitch. You know, if you don't mind getting a crime stat, Eric, and you just, or you're just going out for rail guns, just go from bunker to bunker without even taking missions, you know? Just go to a bunker, run and shoot everybody, and check all the boxes, go to the next one. Keep doing that over and over. You can get in and out of yeah. a bunch of bunkers really quick that way. Um, th then maybe like before you log off, go turn yourself in. Art Corp is one of the best places to do it. The bunker missions, uh, just because there's only two moons and it's never going to be on the planet and you don't have to worry about, uh, your, uh, your change log getting clogged up with like siege ores in or multiple siege ores in or no junk like that. This is pretty straightforward. Arcorp has like the best performance out of any any other planet. Yeah, I agree with that as well. So I really like the style that they have going on to like the Arcorp planet being like the entire big city. I, I just wish they would like do bunkers on the like actual Arcor planet where you yeah. would land on the skyscape scrapers roof and then you would go like down level by level clearing clearing the skyscraper. You know, that would be you, awesome. you know what sucks about it though, because we were we, me and Earth were recording clips there yesterday, yeah. so I was recording him flying around the city, and I was hovering over the actual part of the city you walk around, and you realize how small that piece is that you can actually walk around. And how yeah. big the fucking city is, it's like it's not even like a pin dot on the plant on the on the city. It's like it's nothing. Really need to open the cities up, give us more. Even if it's just buildings you can walk through, like you gotta open it up and give us more. And one big positive news came from the pipeline. Because I, I loved Levski when that was still in the Oh verse. yeah. Oh yeah. And Levski is my favorite. Yeah, they had like information that they have been like updating it constantly, Levski, preparing uh, it for the new system launch. So even if the, even if we got it back, the only thing I really remember is flying into it, how you fly in and where you pick up your ground yeah. vehicles and shit. That's the only shit I really actually remember about Levski anyway, you know, but yeah. that's what was cool about it. It was like uh it was like a kind of a more friendly Grimhex sort of, but yeah. Something about when, the way you would fly down into it over the mountains, like you would come in, it just felt like a real moon. That's the one place that yeah. really felt like a legit real moon, you know? And like if you have played uh, Cyberpunk's DLC, the Phantom Liberty, Levski has the exact same vibe as the Doctor. Yeah. Like it's like a basically like a shanty town with like all kinds of shady businesses and stuff like that. Futuristic Sandy Town, yeah. Yeah. I really love that place. And it, it's kind of coming back, but it's coming with the Nix, Nix system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we still have a whole other system to go before we even get there. Yeah. But judging by like, like, like those news, that, that could be like the next one that we get. But Nix. Yeah, I... I was always yeah. under the impression it was Pyro than Nyx, but I mean, I guess they yeah. never really said that, technically. I, I, my, my thing, too, is always, I've always said three systems and a thousand players per server, and just call the game done. 
you know, fucking polish it up, fit, put it out there. Three systems, three systems the size of stand. I would give you so much shit to explore, so much, it would, the, the map would be big enough, and then a thousand people per server, so that way, like, technically it'd be 300 people per system, you know. There's so many options they can do as far as putting, like, uh, Lagrange points in the, the air and halo and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's so much room for stuff. Yeah, there's so much room. The, the system that I really hope they add is the one that is featured in the Kara commercials. I don't know what, what's it called, but it's like completely fucking alien planets. Yeah. Yeah, you never know with CIG though, Ghost. You, you just never know. I try to not make any predictions, you know, because it is kind of like uh, worst case scenario is probably what's true. Another two years before we get Pyro, and then uh, another, what, five years before we get Nyx? Just call it that. You know? I'll probably never see Nyx in my lifetime. <laughs> I'm going to take this dude's beacon. As soon as it pops up. Like, remember Pyro, what they said? We were supposed to get another Pyro playtest before the end of the year. Well, bro, it's fucking April now. We never got that playtest. What happened? <laughs> Even, like, simple things like that. They just say it. They, or they just say things, and everybody believes them, you know? I enjoyed Pyro, too. Did you get... You play Pyro, right, Cudley? Nope. It never got the access for Pyro. Oh, uh, really? No shit. I actually didn't get to spend a lot of time in there, but we, we did fuck around do some missions and explore a little bit. I got spawn camped for the first, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes of trying to play, and then yeah, uh, somehow I got reset and out of there. And Yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a very interesting experience trying to get out of a hab, but I mean, all, your, all you saw in chat and stuff was this is pyro and welcome to pyro bitch and all that yeah. jazz but yeah i mean well, i mean it is what it is gonna be, yeah. that's, that's how it's gonna be let's let's fucking do yeah, it <laughs> right well it'll be it's not gonna be let so, me sleep with a gun <laughs> obviously it should be lawless but i think once the hype dies down you know you'll be able to come and go yeah. and fly around a little bit but well, that's why going to a place reps, like that though. you should have a group you know you should get a group to go with yeah. you yeah maybe the the rep stuff will fix some of that, hopefully. Hmm. All right, it's getting quiet. I'm going to slowly make my way back to my A2. And then um, if nothing happens, it's way up there. So if nothing happens... By the time I get there, I'm probably going to bounce and go get my last clips that I'm going to get for the night. Yep. Because that, that, that is a very big video project. I really should try and make some progress on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So this is when we're going to get attacked hard because I'm not paying attention and I'm just driving away. Yeah. You going to turn yourself in tonight? Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. I'm going to go get those uh, shots I got to get. If I just do do microtech and then jump to Hurston real quick, I get all the shots. I could do the whole intro for that video. 
Mm -hmm. So Alt F9 on the NVIDIA side, right? To start and stop. To start recording, yeah. Alright. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to go into your settings too and check stuff like. Um, your resolution, what frame rate, all that stuff. Resurate, See what you're recording yeah. at, yeah. Yeah. And then after you record a clip, you just uh, hit Alt Z, go back to that, and then you'll see a thing on the right hand side that says gallery, and that then uh, click on that, and then click on open file location, and it'll go right to the file, so you don't even gotta search for it. Lovely. Shit, how am I getting back up there? We go loot jump down. Yeah, see, this is what sucks because the economy is so dead. Jumptown is always dead. Yeah. You know, and like people are actually trying to earn money. This place is hopping, and not only is it going off with like fighting, people are trying to get out with boxes, and there's like a there's like a goal, you know. Yeah. Not just that, but <clears throat> here lately, Brio's and shit. Even like SCD One has been more hopping than Jumptown. Yeah. Yeah, you just go to a random place and there's more fighting than a fucking jump down. Yeah. Like, people don't want any part of it right now because everybody's got money. Yeah, but if they had a wipe, we would be here. Even if we were uh, getting yeah. attacked, we'd be trying to, like, get a handful of boxes out in the middle of it, you know, like... Yep, because those little, fun. you know, two, three hundred K runs are going to be absolutely freaking worth it, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it makes it exciting and adds up. Right, there's fucking nobody here. Kind of want to dress up as one of the Xenothreat guys and hang out at SPK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a wicked AI. <laughs> Alright, Come on, Ramp, you can do it. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, dude, don't do this. Right, all right. Oops, misclick.
I have a feeling there's a bomb about to come our way. <laughs> hey, why is my back door open? You shot my door open, you jerk. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> that was a really good deck on sniper shot. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna go get these couple clips real quick and then call it a night. Jump Town's dead. It really is like upsetting to me. It really upsets me that you can't just go to Jump Town and have oh, some scuffles and. And then. Oh, wait, there's a ship. Is a ship or is that. Oh, yeah, it's here. At least the sun's coming up. The real bummer is that when people do finally show up, they just want to like drop a bomb and be gone, you know? Yeah, that uh, that and wipe goes. Getting everything wiped will make a big difference. Those couple things. Either one of y'all want to ride out of here? Sure. Okay. At least you got that one kill. Yeah. That guy didn't even have a chance to shoot back. <laughs> so it wasn't much of a fight, but. <clears throat> Travel complete. So now we'll back down for Cudley. Quantum travel engage. Quantum travel. Sitting in the elevator down now. You want cuddly? Yep. All right. I gotta hit the moons.
close. All right, guys, I'm going to end the stream. All I'm doing now is just getting some shots of the full planets for a project we have coming up, which you get to see in a few weeks. It'll be pretty cool, hopefully. Um, I already have one chunk of it done recording, which will be edited tomorrow, and then yeah, within a week or so. It depends on how much time I have to work on it. But All right. Have a good night. See everybody tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we're going to try and get to the PTU. So if you're around, uh, we'll check it out.